Hey folks, how you doing? So I figured I'll try this old school method of mine out since I've tried all the other ones airfield, spark timing, you name it. Anyhow, um, this is one of the older school methods that uh, most of these guys at the forums and this are not aware of. We call it um, cylinder washdowns. Now, a lot of people will tell you that the uh, modern fuel injection engines will not have this bloody issue. Thing is though, uh, especially on our cars, as you can see, I've after tried everything else. Cam sensor, crank sensor, whatever the hell. The rest is there, I've tried it. Anyhow, thing is, uh, you start the car, you turn it off too fast, DME has injected too much fuel, you leave the car off for a few days, it's gonna wash down all the um, oil in the cylinder walls. And uh, next thing you know it, you don't have enough compression to start the engine. So anyhow, what you do is uh, take out your... Uh, Coil packs, take the spark plugs out, put about a tablespoon of uh, motor oil in there, and um, we'll see how that works for us. Alright folks, after you're done taking out the uh, spark plugs, the coils and all that, you'll be left with direct view to your cylinder heads and your pistons. Now, what you want to do now is squirt in or uh, just use a little... Uh, just about anything, you, even a teaspoon would do. About 10 milliliters of uh, engine oil or ATF fluid down each of these banks. Let your spark plugs dry out. After that, grab yourself a coffee and um, try and crank it up. Should have caused enough oil to have gone past the rings and the pistons and all that. It's real easy to uh, crank it now because there is no compression. It's all opened up. Once you close it up, then we'll see how it goes. Alright fellas, seems that it worked. See? Running just fine. Now I did have to flash a different tune on it because I was boosted. Now I'm running it MA, but it starts up. Hopefully I'll let it warm up and it will hold an idle. We'll see from there.